all right guys in this video i'm going to show you how to code range kutta method well i've been trying to make this video for about um 45 minutes now but i was not able to start because of this game shadow fight 2 it's an awesome game you should all try it um, it's free of course and i love playing it anyways i have been coding this um it's it's a html thing um it's a button um just see how it works like if i hover the mouse over the button see the magic how is it nice here yeah? yeah i like it it's nice well anyways uh, let's go back to work so this is range kutta method um in this video i'll uh yeah leave this page in this video i will discuss um this method of order 2 there are two others uh, orders actually 2 and 4 i'm going to discuss order 2 well here tn is actually let's see if sound is getting recorded or not option record yeah okay so yeah tn is actually xn and this is y okay so this is our formula so let's go back to code blocks i have just written the initial things the header file and int main return 0 this should not be a problem well the equation which i am which i am going to use is dy by dx that's f of x comma y f of x comma y is x plus y square so let's make the function uh it's going to it's going to be float f um uh, float x float y then return what does it return return it was return x plus y square i have a book in front of me from the i have picked up this example so return x return something and that something is x plus again something and that something is y into y i um, write this in this form because um, it's easier like return something and what is the something like that you is proper use of this brackets and uh, it's very important to proper use of brackets otherwise you may end up with erroneous results and you have you may have no idea why because computers and maths that bit in a different way anyways so after that what do i need um, in this question is given use this method of order 2 to calculate y of 0.2 and is given that when x equal to 0 y equal to 1 so this is going to be uh, float uh, f l o a t float x 0 y0 x1 i don't x1 i need yeah x1 and y1 so there's going to be input function so y input then print f enter the value of x0 and y0 i'm going to do it in one line you may separate them scan f percent f percent f then and percent x0 y0 x0 and percent y0 then again print f something else and that something else is enter the value of x1 right y1 you have to calculate so scan f percent f comma Okay, this is it. Uh, this is the input function. It's uh, over. So now let's move on to the method, and that is yep, this one. Y n plus one equal to y n plus h of. Um, we also need something else. The h, right? I mean the h, and the value of x zero, y zero, and x zero comma y zero. And let's do it. And h. So h. And 
here again percent f <coughs> okay so here we input all these things now float answer do we need any input parameter um, i guess no it's going to be like this um well the number of iterations the number of times we have to execute this formula is going to be um y uh, x1 minus x0 divided by h i hope you can realize y but this is what is going to be it's like x1 minus x0 by h for example in this problem x1 is given as 0 0.2 and x0 is 0 so it's going to be 0 0.2 minus 0 divided by h so it's going to be twice okay so let's calculate n here and n is going to be integer no, no doubt about that <coughs> n equal to x1 minus x0 divided by h right um, you may take the mod value but for the simplicity for simplicity sake i'm going to leave it as it is but this it's it's more intelligent to take the mod value mod value of n so i'm going to need i also loop counter for or maybe i don't need while n minus minus is greater than zero this should suffice then y1 equal to y1 is equal to let's plug in the formula uh, this book is flying away uh, y1 is equal to <coughs> y0 plus h of f of x okay i haven't forget um, y1 equal to y0 plus y1 equal to y0 plus plus something and that something is h into something else and that something else is h into something else and something is f of f of something is f of something and that is x plus h by 2 that is x plus something that something is h by 2 comma y 0 plus uh, uh, <coughs> okay y 0 plus plus 0 0.5 into plus 0 0.5 into h into plus something and that is That is x x plus y that is x plus y so x means x zero <coughs> yeah. uh, no it's not plus x zero comma y zero uh, it's going to be zero here as well well we got to increment the value of x zero so x zero plus equal to h then y zero is equal to y one so this is it then uh, do we need to return the value of y one we don't actually because as you can see y one is up here so it's void let's print the value let's call the input function input then printf let's call the answer function printf the answer is percent f and it's y1 okay let's save it let's check okay 
error expected semicolon before something so yeah okay another conflicting types for f y why uh con con conflicting types for f i don't know what the error is let's put it at the top of the board do you still have an error no we don't okay good x0 is x0 is 0 y0 is 1 and h is they have taken h is 0 0.1 okay and the value of x1 is 0 0.2 the answer i am getting is 1.2700 and they are getting an answer i hope i am right yep yep i am right the answer they are getting is also 1.2708 uh, i am getting 2706 they are getting 8 uh, okay there is a tiny bit of error i guess here uh, it is more or less closed so i think i am right uh, yeah i think i am right they they probably made some mistake i mean because it's a computer right so it's far more accurate and they have not used such a degree of accuracy so they have probably ended up in a, a fractional error they have given 1.2708 i'm getting 1.2700 um, it's more or less okay so let's take another example let's see in this example okay the f function changes right so in this one f, f function is y square plus xy so let's change it actually y square plus it's y square plus xy so x into y okay they're taking the value of x0 is 1 y0 is 1 and h is and x1 they're taking is 1.1 <coughs> i'm getting 1.2365 and they're getting 1.2415 okay it's very um, minute error uh, it's okay i guess my answer is okay um, think so okay this is all for this video i think my answer is okay um, if you people can find any problem with this do comment it otherwise i think answer is okay actually anyways thank you so much for this video don't forget to hit like and do subscribe for more videos like this and videos to, okay let's go videos to make on those website things